The First Reading A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philippians, chapter 2, verses 5 to 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One of the dinner guests, on hearing this, said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the street and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you ordered has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The Saving Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear people of God. Today in the Holy Gospel, we find the parable of the great banquet. Through this parable, Jesus gives us a very important message about the cost of being a follower of Christ. In this story, the host of the banquet invited a lot of people for his wedding feast. However, all of them declined this invitation with a lame excuse. So, what are really these excuses? Really, these excuses represent the many reasons and the distractions that keeps our Christians away from the Lord's Supper or the Sunday Mass. So, let us see the reasons for those invitees to skip this great banquet. One of them said that he has bought a field and he must go and see it. And another said he has bought five oxen and he must go and examine them. And the third one said he is busy with his wedding and a marriage. And these same excuses, same lame excuses are being repeated today for not being able to come for Sunday Mass. Many of them come for Holy Mass only on Christmas Day or on the New Year Day or on the Feast Day. My dear friends, what are, these, what are the excuses that they give? They tell that they cannot give one single hour on holiday. Some of them say that they have to keep their shops open and they have businesses to run. They need to do that. They need to earn money on Sunday. And others say they have to go for their uh, go to their jobs even on Sunday 
they tell they have debts to pay, pay and they cannot make the board ends meet therefore they have to do overtime and there are others who say that they have to go for their campuses to their university especially the youth give this excuse and some say they have sport activities and tournaments on Sundays. Some would give the excuse that they are busy throughout the week all the six days that they work and they want to rest, rest a bit on Sunday. So they sleep little late on Sunday morning. And teenagers, what is the excuse? They tell they have tuition classes and extra classes. And some people would say they have parties and social gatherings to attend. Therefore, they cannot come for Sunday Mass. In this manner, there are a lot of lame excuses given by our Catholics, the baptized Catholics, they give lame excuses for not coming for Sunday Holy Mass. This Sunday Holy Eucharist is the great banquet given by Lord to us. Actually, Lord invited all of us, all the baptized people at the Last Supper. He said, do this in memory of me. So, my dear friends, we have 168 hours during the whole week. If, if we take, if uh, uh, on a day, there are 24 hours. If we multiply 24 into 7, we find 168 hours. So out of these 168 hours, Lord is asking only one single hour. Why can't we give that hour? And in this parable we see, since those invited guests declined the invitation, Master invited those crippled, blind, lame, and poor people for his party and finally he invited those who were on the street in the same manner if we don't respond to the invitation of Jesus to come for Sunday Holy Obligation for Sunday Holy Eucharistic celebration Lord would give the invitation for the banquet in heaven the great banquet in eternal life to those non-Christians those who are not following our religion and on that day we would be amazed, we would be, uh, we would be taken aback seeing that even the non-Christians have entered into the kingdom of heaven and they are enjoying the great banquet. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank and praise you for giving us this precious invitation for your Eucharistic table. You said do this in remembrance of me. Lord, there were days that I took this invitation for granted and on certain days I didn't attend for Sunday Mass. I am sorry for that. I ask pardon about that. Lord, from today onwards, encourage me. Give me the courage to go for Sunday Mass early in the morning. Give me that taste, foretaste of the heavenly banquet by taking part in the Holy Mass on Sunday. And also, give the understanding, the knowledge about this banquet even to my family members, to my parish community, so that our churches would be filled with the baptized Catholics. We ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.